First keg drops in, that takes the weight up to 606 pounds. Now he doesn't have the experience in powerlifting, so he has to learn as he goes. He's got to feel this apparatus out. He's got picture perfect form right now. Kaz's natural strength is pretty impressive now as he goes for 683 pounds. He drops in pretty hard, that's a mistake, but he's got a lot of leg drive to get out of it. This is one powerful man. And Mark Westby does it, 716 pounds. This will take him to 750, and he says that's enough. Well, he's a strong man, Kaz, and he's a smart man. He knows what his limits are. So the 42-year-old from Tadcaster, England is credited with six lifts in a very respectable time of 33.80 seconds. Mark Westby, as Bill said, a newcomer to the sport, but showing a lot of power here as he gets 716 pounds up. He's standing by with Bill Kazmaier. Mark, it's a really tight group. How important was it for you to do six? Very important. Uh, I've been dreading this event. You know, it's not my strong event. And I thought I've got to really give it every bit of power I possibly have, you know. You were so strong with the last one, do you think you could have done one more? Yeah, I do, really. Which for me is absolutely incredible. I don't know where I got the power from. Farm work and all that you do back home, does that get you ready for this event? <laughs> too right. You tell me. You Thank look you. good. Thank you very much. That takes us to our next competitor. This is American Don Pope. He currently leads group number two. 6'3", 320 pounds, a 35-year-old from Fairview Park, Ohio, a former football player. And it'd be no surprise to see Don Pope back in the final. Back in 2005, he finished in eighth place in the World's Strongest Man final. Last year, he got third, and Kaz, he is making quick work of those first few barrels. Take a look at those quads, Todd. Knees directly over the ankles, hips way back and driving forward. Perfect back position. He's a master of this event. And he's successful at 716. Will he get the seventh lift? This will be for 750 pounds. He's got the form for it. Touch and go. He's done it. Don Pope, 34.96 seconds, completes the entire rack. A very impressive performance by American Don Pope. The first man in this group to finish all seven lifts. Don Pope is certainly setting the bar very high. Pope took a couple of quick breaths before showing why he's considered one of the most fearsome athletes in this competition. What intense determination. And our final strongman to take on the squat lift is Poland Sebastian Venta. Now, Venta is tied for third after two events. And Kaz at 6'7", he is the tallest competitor in the world's strongest man field this year. Does being tall help or harm him in this event? Well, Todd, he's blessed with a huge frame. But unless he weighs about 50 or 100 pounds more, it's a big disadvantage. He's way too tall with that amount of body weight. First three reps pretty good for Sebastian Venta. That's 628 pounds he just completed. Now the fourth rep, 650, slams it down and goes right back up. You notice he's trying to get the power out of his quads to bring the hips forward. He just can't do it. <laughs> Sebastian Venta credited with four reps in 15.45 seconds. But your winner, American Don Pope, seven reps in 34.96 seconds.